In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. The following video is from 2021 when we first moved to Alaska. We will be catching up the vlog to real time daily throughout February. Previously on Living Free Alaska, it's time to get to work and start prepping our land for excavation. And then we take a little time off for a ranger ride deep into the Talkeetna Mountains and tent camp for the 4th of July weekend. Well, good morning from our property. Today is second day of true excavation. Three weeks ago, we started digging in and we found that we had a high water table. So we had to stop all digging until we could consult a civil engineer, which we did. And now the builder has his um, plans that he needs to do for our foundation. So yesterday they came in and dug out the RV parking area and the home site. Today is going to be a whole slew of activity going on. They're going to be taking out all the topsoil dirt that they scraped up yesterday and bringing in a gravel base. So we will be here on site all day just observing, watching. That's the type of builders we like to be or homeowners that are building. We like to be on site. We know exactly what we want. We've been through this before with our last house and we wanna be here for this house. We won't get in the way, but we wanna be here just in case there's any questions. So let's go inside to the property and I'll show you what we've got going on. This is our road and this is the entrance into our driveway. It rained last night about a quarter inch, so it's a little sloppy. But as you come into our driveway, you'll go back about 50 yards or so and come to a V. And off to the right is our RV par parking area. And off to the left will be the home site. Over here is the RV parking site. We think we can park three big rigs in here pretty comfortably with turnaround space. We also bought a little... 12 by 16 building that we're gonna put in the back here. And that will be a little patio, campfire area. We'll have one RV parking spot right here, another right there, and a third right in here. What's really nice about this RV parking area is you won't be able to see it from the road. Our Rangers parked right in front of the road there but on our property. So it'll still remain private. Well, last night they forecasted about a quarter into rain or so. I don't know how much we got exactly, but uh, a good amount of rain. Um, on the roads here, where there's definitely puddling everywhere. Um, before we dug this out, after it rained, it was kind of squishy all over the place. Uh, for the most part, I think we got down below that silty clay layer and now the water drains right down through the soil. With the exception of right over here, it looks like it's still pretty damp over there. That's pretty soft clay stuff. So we may have them scrape a little bit more right over there just to get down below that clay surface so we don't have standing water, which would lead to soft spots. But overall, kind of happy with what they've done yesterday. Now we're over at the home site side, and this is where we're going to build our new future. So right here is our well that they put in and about where this uh, landscape is, that's where the shop will start. So it'll be one giant building from right here all the way to the trees. Yeah, it's kind of a dream building actually. Uh, it'll be pretty awesome. But yeah, this is uh, it's looking good. Today is another big day. Um, we're gonna haul off the 
remnants of the burn pile and that's kind of just mixed debris and topsoil burnt stuff um, a lot of that pile is going to go away today too we're going to keep some there for some a natural separation between the two spots the rv spot and the home spot and then also we're going to work on a little bit bigger turnaround area right here so this is so like stacy was saying the front of the shop door is right over here i need a little bit bigger turnaround area for boat and motor home and other trailers and equipment so wait what boat and motor home and other trailers and equipment so that'll be oh yeah we forgot to tell you about this let's jump over to that a week after arriving home in alaska we were invited to go on an adventure that would change our future here our realtor and her husband own a remote lodge out in Prince William Sound. There you go, Bill. Tail. Oh, he's going down. He just didn't bring his tail. And they invited us, as well as our friends, Mike and Bobby, who helped us move, to come out for a weekend of relaxation after our big drive north to Alaska. Doesn't suck, right? Not at all. It's not too bad. On our second day out at the lodge, it was a beautiful one, and we took advantage of the nice weather window and got a little fishing and shrimping done in one of the nearby coves inside Prince William Sound. It's so right there. Oh my God, this is so awesome, Mike. Do you see him? Oh, he's right there. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Just came to life. He went down. Oh, oh man, too bad, buddy. Oh. Anyway, I brought this guy up and he was on the surface for a little while and that bald eagle was circling around trying to get him. All of a sudden he came back to life. <laughs> Good morning from Port Ashton Lodge in Prince William Sound. We are truly off grid here and about 70 miles from Seward. And I'm not sure the mileage from Whittier, <clears throat> but it's a three hour boat ride to get here. And it is a beautiful morning and unfortunately our last morning here. But uh, I'm standing here on the deck of the beach house and this is where we stayed. We're just finishing breakfast. But I wanted to share this little slice of heaven with you. So today we go back home. We're gonna stop and drop our hooks for some halibut. Try to get some butts in the boat. Yesterday we went fishing and brought in nine black bass rockfish. And I have a feeling tonight we might have fish tacos. But for the most part, I just want to show you guys, this is what coastal Alaska looks like. And one that you can't reach anywhere by land, <clears throat> either boat or seaplane. It's the only way in. But we feel super fortunate to visit this little slice of heaven. And we can't wait till we come back. So, just wanted to share with y'all this fun little adventure we had this weekend, or this week. Can't complain one bit. Our time at the lodge was a good one and a great way to start our new life here in Alaska. It also reminded us how much the water calls us. Come on, Stacy. No. Look, this thing is huge. Yeah, you're not going to fall too You want to hop up and get a picture? <laughs> Don't walk too far. Let me back off so we can get a picture without the boat. No, I don't. As you can tell, I was very apprehensive to get on this rather large floating iceberg. 
Gary had no problem getting on, but something in my head and my mother's voice was telling me, don't you dare. <laughs> my mother would kill me if I did. <laughs> no. But peer pressure makes you do some pretty crazy things. And I'm glad I did it. Sorry, Mom. We've always been boaters, and well, this little trip away from home reminded us how happy our hearts are when on the water. It was now time to make our trek back to Whittier and back home to our home build. One week later. What do you know? Videoing you. Why? We're on a boat. We're on a boat. It's kind of a nice boat. Well, yes, you guessed it. After spending four days on Prince William Sound, the search was on for an Alaskan style boat to call our own. It's an Alaska boat. Welcome aboard our new to us 2019 Hughes Craft Adventurer 290 that we have aptly named the Naughty Pleasure. With the pending sale of our 35 foot Four Winds Cruiser down in Bellingham, Washington, we felt this was a good trade up of vessels to allow us to explore the ocean waters of Prince William Sound and Resurrection Bay for plenty of vitamin C with fishing, shrimping, and camping adventures ahead. Both Gary and I grew up boating in the San Juan Islands with our grandparents as children, and I spent my summers aboard my grandparents' boat helping them cruise southeast Alaska waters during my teenage years. It's because of them we have a love affair with the sea, and both Gary and I are pinching ourselves that we finally have an ocean boat to call our own. We look forward to sharing more boating trips with you in the future and show you more of Alaska that many visitors do not have a chance to see. Okay, let's get back to the build. So now we're just sitting here, standing here, waiting, waiting for the crew to show up. Well, the kids are here. Some of them are here. <laughs> three, two, three kids. Two, two people are here. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, we're going to have lots of movement of dump trucks and gravel trucks. Uh, we had the do dozer, the roller, and an excavator. another excavator, I believe, is coming right. in. Right, it's going to be two excavators, I believe, today. So crazy. Yeah. And then also uh, some of the extra topsoil dirt, uh, we're going to uh, truck over to our neighbor's house just about a half mile down the road. Um, he was wanting some dirt, so we'll have a little extra and it's actually gonna save us quite a bit of money. Um, so we don't have to do a whole back, back run uh, kind of thing. So yeah, it's gonna work out well for us. It's gonna be a long day.
well good morning of day two of Holland dirt yesterday we brought in a total of 48 trucks of dirt just to fill our RV parking lot it is nearly complete all they have left is this little hole right here to fill and it sounds like the next run of trucks is arriving now but they worked 10 hours yesterday filling this with uh, topsoil good dirt uh, that drains really well and um, yeah we're super excited after this area gets finished the RV parking uh, some D1 gravel is gonna come in and then we are free to park back here What do you think, Soph? Are you excited about your new home? Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is week two of our build of our new home in Houston, Alaska. And uh, today they are working on digging our septic systems and also our water line runs over to the RV parking area from the main house. By the end of the week, if all goes well, we should have the um, foundation work started with getting the forms ready for our foundation footings. So lots of activity, hopefully for week two, um, and uh, getting things going before winter comes. It's July 20th, I believe, today. And so we're a little behind the ball, but once once we start framing, things are gonna get moving fast, I hope. Or at least, so I've been told. Well, he's taken down the mountain. Finally going away. Hopefully our birch tree survived. Looks like it has. So right now I am actually standing in our kitchen. You want to know, we don't have walls, we just have dirt, but this will be the view off of our, let's see, this would be Eastern wall and our living room corner will be right over here. And there is our peekaboo views of the mountains. Our hopes are to remove some of these trees 
maybe most of them and then we'll have mountain views all the way back here but super exciting right now gary's over at the well they're about to tap into it to run our water lines let's go check it out a little bit of progress every day is a good thing so they're uh this is our well they're attaching the water line to the well and they're going to run the water line into our mechanical room and then backfeed another line out of the mechanical room to supply water to our parking area for the motorhome. They're just finishing up our septic system over there in the RV parking area. That's pretty exciting because that means the sooner we get to move over here onto our own property. We're really looking forward to that. We're also going to run uh, water from, actually from the house, over to the RV parking area and we'll have water over there. We're going to, it'll, it'll be set up for a water, sewer, and electric for one rig. Now we'll take you over here and see what's going on with the main house. Next time on Living Free Alaska, we get the green light to move onto our property full time and the next trade arrives on site to start the foundation work of our ultimate Alaskan RV shop house. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.